ordered three or four okay. products from Amazon. Hmm? Yes. Three products in it: the shampoo, actually shampoo and conditioner mm. for anti-hair fall. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm. Hair strainer. This is, I think, this is combo pack with with two of them. What is it? This hair strain, uh, strainer okay, okay. straightener this thing mm -hmm. it is good for exercise also for oh, yes right for your hair exercise uh, for massage for massage. massage yes right um, one more thing one more product is coming also. Mm -hmm. It is a hair dryer. My hair is very in very worse condition now. Why? Hair fall is actually it's very. Hey, you must have some. Uh fruit yes i have fruit and vegetable no i have but two or three times i took that uh, hair spa it is very really very good for hair you know the our scalp is very bad uh, from the pollution and uh, the oil so they clean it you do all these things it's okay you do all these things on the upper part of your head uh, uh, right but the, the problem of hair fall dandruff whatever it is actually mm -hmm. it should be treated from inside yes right it is from our uh, like uh, your digestion should be digest good. digestion system and liver. Like liver yes but it is nowadays it is very means it is good like my internal system is good and uh, it is some of the part of the in the internal system is not working very well but but now it's size and good food and fruit vegetables they always have you know good effect on mm. the internal organs and uh, the, the problems which we see on our upper part of the skin mm. because of uh, the problem inside mm. our body yes right, right. so if it is treated then all the problems on your skin disappear themselves mm. i told I told them actually I asked them about that thing mm -hmm. that uh, the hair salon the hairdresser mm -hmm. but uh, he told me no some of the things in inside and because of we have to face that problem but all of the problem from the, this side <laughs> so, they will have to speak like this Yes, of course, right, right. you have to treat on the upper part also that uh, mm. we cannot deny it. But uh, if suppose Pain. twenty five percent of the upper part is treated, then remaining seventy five percent of the internal organs or internal body should be treated. And right. the treatment is very simple. Nothing is to be, nothing special is to be done actually. Mm. Just uh, uh, clean your stomach. 
you have mm. to keep your stomach clean all, always means you should have fiber diet fiber foods vegetables and you may have some time e sab bowl has coffee sab bowl it is good for uh, you know cleaning because it has fiber and it is going to clean your intestine mm -hmm. you may have some time you know, liver tablet like uh, lift 52 ds lift 52 yes it i is know a proper actually you know it is a tonic mm. and you must always or everybody should have mm. because it is very good uh, tablet lift 52 ds i always use it i always have two tablets okay. at night Mm. So it is good for uh, liver. It is actually several ingredients are there. Mm. Ayurvedic ingredients which help mm. you to keep your stomach clean. Mm. So right. These are the tonics actually. Maintenance dose. Mm. I always use the 52 ds. Mm. But I always use at night because in if I if I take that lift fifty two S lift fifty two D S in morning, I may have some time loose motions. Mm. So that's why I always have it in evening. And our internal system is also always working in the daytime yes. because we eat eat lot of it. we and. So, medicine is not going to work that time. Uh, maybe, but uh, medicine which is taken in night is very effective. Mm -hmm. right. So, I always use, you know, I, I use Avana also. Mm -hmm. That is also Ayurvedic from Himalaya. Mm -hmm. It is good for reducing cholesterol, fats. Mm. and uh, lift 52 ds mm -hmm. i use maintenance dose always <laughs> right now in my age i have to use all these things mm -hmm. and i do exercise mm -hmm. actually you know the old age is just like a hell uh -huh. old age means it is the end of the life it is not end of the life, but it should not be the end of the life before we die. So, mm. to maintain or to enjoy even the old age, we should do, uh, means we should uh, follow some practices. Practices means exercise, food, and means uh, maintenance, dose, all these things to be followed. We shouldn't think we are old person. <laughs> I never think and people never think, but their physical conditions actually, you know, but compare reality. them. Yeah, reality is reality. Yes. Because their physical conditions compel them to think that they are now going to be old. The, you know, the other old people in other countries, in foreign countries, actually, I have seen many people there. They actually, they, they work very hard in their old age also. Actually, their conditions are totally different. Mm. Actually, the people in uh, other countries mm. are living in cold areas. Climate mm. is cold. So, yes. when the climate is cold, means the climate, I mean the cold climate is considered the healthy climate. Mm. Because the people have good digestion that time, mm -hmm. they can digest anything easily, they can have exercise and even if they fall sick, if they take medicines and medicines, you know the allopathic medicines or whether the Ayurvedic medicines, they are means hot in nature. Yes. So in hot countries, suppose... A Cancer patient is there in India. 
if he is treated in india then chemotherapy and some other things are done on on his body mm. uh, chemotherapy is very hot in nature and if suppose the season is hot then he is uh, means uh, he suffer he suffers two times actually by the medicine and by the uh, climate also mm. but in uh, other countries in cold countries means mm. they have chemotherapy or some other treatment or some other medications they take but they have but as the climate is cold so effect of the side effect of all these things is mm. very very uh, rare or minimal means every means every medicine it's suitable on them yeah every so that's why they they don't feel <coughs> very tired mm. but here if you take even a simple medicine mm. in india mm. you feel tired some uh, some discomfort and many things because the climate uh, is not good here especially in north india south india right right, right. it is almost hot climate for 8 months or 9 months yes so yes that's the reason oh. so this is the condition and the second thing is also there that the people there if they have even a simple problem in their body or they suffer from any problem they go to doctor immediately right because because they don't have to pay to the doctor they they actually already have the insurance mm. medical insurance and it is compulsory for every citizen of the country there means so they are means free they may go to doctor any time when they born they have that any ch- whenever any child is born uh-huh. it is compulsory for the parents to have insurance for that child as soon as or since the birth of the child mm-hmm. so this is the rule there by the government Oh, right. this is the rule if no insurance is there it is a punishable law so everybody has to take insurance this is necessary part of their life same as traffic traffic insurance yes so when they have insurance they are free they have no burden so whenever they feel sick they go to a specialist mm. doctor immediately Uh, in the government hospital not in private because mm. private doctors are very costly there the people prefer to go to government hospitals people pay their taxes timely so the government have facility infrastructure for the people mm. so the government hospitals are better than private hospitals private. in the, in england and us because the people means the government has lot of fund to to facilitate all these uh, infrastructure with the good uh, equipments facilities and all so mm. the people are treated well there or in a better way but private mm. private hospitals they don't have uh, that much good actually equipments in in compare to the government hospitals so the people prefer to go to government hospitals and as they have insurance so they don't have to pay anything for that even for the operations or for anything it is free of charge they are paid by the government right so it is good for them so they don't fall sick easily or they don't come in trap of a uh, big disease because right. they have simple problem they go to doctor and all the tests are done and then uh, the disease is diagnosed and that is treated but here in india lot of problems are there even if you have simple problem 
you have to go to private doctor you don't go to government doctors because you think that they have no facility and that is truth mm. government hospitals yes. don't talk about uh, aims and uh, sgpgi and all these are good hospitals but if you talk about some other government hospitals in india their condition is really very bad nobody wants to go there mm. because the doctors they are careless i don't mean curse all the doctors but most mm. of the doctors even they have come over there or they have got appointment there by uh, that reservation they have no knowledge Mm, right. They got thirty percent in their exam, but they are doctor there in government hospitals. <laughs> right. So who wants to be? Who wants to get themselves treated by such doctors? Mm. Mm. So this is the reason. That's why they go to private doctors. And private doctors, they are looters. They yes. loot people. They don't know anything, but they. We even after examining, they don't think that the doc, the patient has to get all these tests done, but they ask him to go to the pathology for MRI, for X-ray, and all because they know that they'll get commission from them. Right, right, right. So this is the problem here in India. India is a country of corruption. <laughs> Everybody is involved in corruption. This is the problem. Yeah. So that's yes. why the conditions of the people here, and that's why people avoid going to doctors. They think why should they go? They have simple pain in the stomach. Why they should go to doctor? If they go to doctor, they they charge lot of money from them. Mm. So that's why they don't go to doctors. Do they have to pay uh, uh, pay monthly for their insurance in foreign countries? No, I don't know that. Oh. But I think the yearly they pay. Yearly. Yes. Mm. They pay yearly, yes. and that is not big amount. Mm. Minimum amount. Even the insurance companies are paid some of the premium uh, by the government. Hmm. Okay. Me suppose the premium of your insurance is ten thousand. Mm -hmm. Then you have to pay five thousand, and the remaining five thousand is paid by the government. They might get some, uh, um, get some like uh, offer from the government, the uh, company. <laughs> Maybe, but I don't know. But. Uh, Uh, their system is very good actually. They have developed a system mm -hmm. in a way for the public. Here the people actually they don't understand. Mm -hmm. Even the people who who are involved in corruption mm -hmm. in India they don't understand that they are also the part. If they do corruption. they may also be the victim of corruption later mm -hmm. in some other uh, field suppose uh, suppose uh, any officer is corrupted any officer any officer or any ias officer mm -hmm. or any mm -hmm. ips officer is corrupted suppose yes 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 and or any suppose uh, you can say the drug inspector is corrupted and in any raid if he suppose he comes to know that the the medicines of the injections which are being manufactured there are not means up to the mark or these are not good for the patient mm -hmm. but uh, he allows them to manu uh, to continue the manufacturing by taking some bribe Mm. and means these uh, fake injections come into the market mm. and they are sold by and they are purchased by the patient they are prescribed by the doctor but that drug inspector doesn't understand that when such injections come into the market for selling 
then he or his relatives or his family members may also buy such injections but they don't think like that they don't because if anything is not good for the human they need only money you may also be the victim of this later and you are responsible for that mm. similarly if suppose a rape victim is there and then he 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 is tried in the court and if suppose any advocate or lawyer is hearing the case of a uh, means fighting that case in favor of that rape victim he knows that he is rape victim but he still tries to save him because of money because yes. he thinks that he is the lawyer of that victim or oh, sorry that uh, criminal rape victim. and suppose anyhow if that rape victim is saved or if he is not suppose punished by the law by uh, presenting some proof and something and if suppose he is declared that he is uh, innocent mm. by the judge because judge has to verdict on the basis of facts facts and if suppose the facts are in favor of that rape victim the rapist then he will not be punished then he will have more courage to do the same thing because he thinks now that he raped but money he raped but he was not punished mm. he will do the same but that lawyer doesn't understand that that lawyer doesn't understand that that rapist may rape his daughter also later right so, that this is the thing actually the people don't understand anything they are blind before money yes they think that money is everything they don't understand that money is something not everything mm. you need money but more than that you need humanity yeah, right if humanity is there all human will be saved but if humanity is not there only money is there nobody will be saved mm, only money that... will be saved and if that money will be saved or if that money is saved uh, who is it for mm. that money is useless because nobody would be there to use it everybody will be sick everybody will be tired and everybody will be in problem and who will help everybody will be in trouble so this is the thing actually you know राइटिंग टोटल yes <coughs> so so it's like that that's why you know the people they are happier people hmm. there in other countries they are happier than the people here in india or in other countries hmm. because we people are losing actually humanity if i don't help you 
you won't help me. Simple. This is the simple rule. Right. If I help you, you will help me. Mm. This is the rule. If mm. you live somewhere, if you help your neighbors, if mm. you help helping nature means, then you will be helped right. by others. If I do something for you, you will do some other things for me. Mm. Yes, yeah. yes. So it cannot be solved. <laughs> I think so. <laughs> but as you know, we are educated mm. and we are, you know, a civilized people. So as a civilized people, actually, when you you are educated. You are mm. not educated for yourself. You are educated for your family, for your society, for your country. And right. It's your duty actually to uh, spread awareness among the people. Right. Regarding good things. Good things. Yeah. Means you should spread awareness about all these things that please stop corruption don't do corruption and you can teach all these things to your students your client mm. and the shopkeepers must write um, mm. uh, on their shops walls the slogans mm. that we we are not involved in corruption we are honest people. Actually, when you write all these things, when you read all these things every day, they encourage you to follow these things. Mm. Yes, we can make some people understand. First of all, we should follow all these things ourselves. But then yes. we, we should encourage others to do that. Mm. Right. <laughs> Yes. And if we are able to change ourselves and if we are able to change others, even a single person, mm. it's enough. And if we can change a person and if we teach that person to change others also, then that whole country will be changed within no time. In no time. But nobody wants to change. Politically, Every. political leaders and all, they mm. are so corrupted, they have got means money, they have got big cars, they have got gunners with them and mm. uh, they are having, you know, big golden chain mm. in their neck. Why they do all these things? If you are very strong, really, you don't need to have gunners with you. If you have gunners with you, it means you are afraid of others. They know anyone can attack on them. Yes. So it means they are afraid. Yes. They are even the means uh, what I should say they are not better than even a street dog <laughs> a street dog is moving freely <laughs> and even he if that dog has no facilities has no food has no water has no house to live in but still he is free but rather they, they 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 are afraid actually they they, they have fear for uh, from the people actually they are then, they have fear from the people mm. they don't have fear from their own community <laughs> no no dog no. is not afraid of dog 
No, they have their. But man is afraid of man. Mm. Dog is not afraid of dogs. Dog has their own circle actually, their colony, and they cannot cross that. <laughs> <laughs> the street number, colony number, and all. They have everything. Yes. If they if they cross their street, they are beaten. They are attacked by other dogs. Yes. This is the problem. They are dogs. Mm. They are never in unity. Right. If they are in unity, the, the man cannot stay here on the earth. Right. right. If they are in, in unity, mm. they all will attack. Right. You. And you will do. Uh, you will, you won't be able to do anything. If they attack. Yeah. So, man is a very dangerous animal. Which? Okay, man. Man is a very dangerous animal. Yes. They can because they can control everything in this on this earth. Any if any mechanical thing or any animal anything. Hmm. Well so we must discuss some other things. I have <coughs> a question in right. my mind. Yes, please. Actually, you know, we have a lot of things to do every day mm. in a different state of our life. Suppose when a child is there, suppose that child is four or five years old, then he goes to school and comes back, then he has some food, sleeps, gets up and plays for some time. Then he studies for one or two hours and then he goes to bed. A student, college going student, college going student have different activities in a day. A working man has different activities in a day. Working woman has different activities in a day. Doctors, engineers, shopkeepers, teacher, Means everybody has got his or her own routine in a day. Mm. Suppose if we talk about a shopkeeper, shopkeeper is always busy in his shop, means from morning to evening. Mm. He hardly has some time to eat mm. because he is always busy, he is busy in earning, earning money, 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 that's all. Sometimes till the night, late night. Yes, means and after that night he goes to bed. And in fact, if you think that he has wasted his one day, because he worked only. Similarly, a doctor, a teacher, or a student, housewife, means all are busy in their own particular work, mm. which may be related to your pro to their profession or to their job profile. So my question is here. What do you think the people should do that? If they are me doctor, they should be busy all the time. If a student should he be always busy with his study? If there is a teacher, should that teacher be busy in teaching? Yes, actually being a busy person is a good thing actually. Mm -hmm. And it should be here 
If we to don't be busy, you should sit to be busy. Yes. Just just a moment. Right. Mm, right. So, first of all, everyone should be busy in their own life. But if someone has their own profession, like I'm doing my own duty, like if I am a doctor, if I am an engineer, any housewife, and student, college going or school going, anyone. So I am doing my thing on regular basis, morning to evening. Hmm. I and I come back and I go to sleep and go to bed. But we should do some another thing apart from these things. Like because now we are doing very uh, like doing very hard working. Mm. We are very hard working in our own profession, and we get something new in our profession. And from our younger younger age, and uh, and we we won't get time actually. And we go to the uh, uh, our older age, our old age. So after after we reach in our old age, we always think, "What have I done in my life?" And I I only involved in my in a one thing in my life, uh, like like. Sorry. In profession, in, in profession. So, so other another thing is like we should do uh, in any like in any social activities. First of all, first of all, social activities like we can we can share. Like you know the 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 celebrities, they have more chance for to do that. They actually they they uh, they have their own orphans house and like uh, on their own on school for the poor children and many things they have and they can do because they have m more money so but they are celebrities but if we are not celebrities we can do we can, like if we have some less money so we can help it like for the less money so it is like that but we should do another thing in our life also. I have actually observed many people in my life that they do many things apart from their profession and they are doing it very well. And because there's some people, they are very active in their profession, their own profession, what they think we do another thing. Because we, they, can, they always pretend like we cannot do another things because we are busy in our own profession and we cannot we cannot do any do another things so they always try to find some pretend and uh, yes means actually my question is little different Okay. You may be in any profession. Uh -huh. You may be a teacher, you may be a doctor, you may be an engineer. Uh -huh. Whoever you may be, you may be a shopkeeper. Of course, you have to do your work. 
every day yes. to make your living or you earn to earn yes. some money yes but we will have to do that yeah but apart from this apart from this what means do you think that if they are busy all the time in their own uh, job or uh, with their own work is it good for them to survive or should they do something else or there should be a balance uh, between all the activity they do or they are expected to do every day like they have to take bath they have to take some exercise they have to have food at time or they have to entertain themselves they have to have some time with their family mm-hmm. or they have to have proper sleep so there should be a balance between yes. all these activities or not that i want to no know. yes right right that the balancing life is really very better should be here actually for everyone it is very necessary for everyone and uh, because we 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 want to get benefit uh, from other things in our life from or like uh, some busy persons you know they actually they can't sleep at night in whole night mm. and they always sleep in 12 pm one sorry 12 12 am and 1 am and they they get up actually like 6 6 to 7 and they 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 they, they can't take they can't properly they just properly and they they always they are always in hurry and they always think we have to reach on i have to reach on time in my office and i have to finish my work and because uh, they have already their their work actually so this is not a good life and i we should have like because people they don't want to uh, they don't want to compromise with their you can say their money position and their life their the thing they need we we get from everyone in, in every year so they they get confused also so what we have to do but they they always forget one thing balancing life is very better hmm because actually they were not taught in a way yes in that way that how what is the meaning of the life mm. how they should survive what is mm. important in their life what is to be given importance what is not to be given and what thing is given what percentage of importance they are not taught all these things from the how to make thing. how to make money only this thing they actually uh, this is taught are... only even in your school even in your college that thing is focused mm. that beta bade ho ke paisa kamana hai wale aadmi banna hai you are taught in that way so that this thing is taught only yes that quotation or these things actually these things are infused in the mind of children that they have to be a big man big persons to earn big money to have big house to have big car they should have all the facility and actually you know this is just like you know something which cannot be actually your desires have no end Mm-hmm. when you have suppose maruti 800 mm-hmm. after 2 years you want to have some other car right after that you want creta after mm-hmm. that you want uh, honda city after that you want some mercedes bmw 
you know that your desires actually never come to an end. Right. So you actually, when you go into this trap, you are confined to that trap only. You you cannot come out of it. Mm. And you forget some other activities which are really important for your life. Like having healthy food, having proper sleep, having exercise. exercise. All these things are more important. Most important is relationship yes. with the children, housewife and their relatives. Yes, if you have, mm. if you have good relation, if you have good health, if you have, you know, mm, when you are, if you have good health, then you can have good mind. Mm. Because right. good mind always, a good, means healthy body has a good mind. It is all mm. said. Right. It is interconnection. If a person is sick, sorry. If a person is sick, then person cannot think in a positive way. Mm -hmm. If the person is healthy, quite healthy, mm -hmm. then he thinks positively. But a right. person who is sick, he thinks negatively. Right. So it means. Whatever the profession you may have, but you should try to have some balance between all the activities you do in a day. Mm. You should have the fixed time for your lunch, dinner, whatever. You should have proper time to think for yourself, to do some exercise, to have some you should have some time to maintain your relations. Mm. You should have proper balancing between the activities to enjoy your life because every activity is important for you. Mm. Not only making money is important. Right. But people are confused. They think that earning money, earning money, they have money, they can do anything. Right. This conditioning of this mind is very bad. Because they were... Because they are not taught in that way. This is the problem. Yeah. Even in, in our education system, all these things are not taught. And I think mm -hmm. the meditation should always be there. Yes, right. In a school or in college. Learn. No, meditation is not there always. Same thing I am telling the, the teacher, the, sorry, the student should be taught all these things. Mm -hmm. right. But there is no activities like that mm -hmm. in any school. Even they are performing, even here in my city, some of the engineering students, oh, sorry, engineering colleges, Medical mm. colleges, they invite celebrity in their school and college, mm. dance there with the students. What is this? <laughs> <laughs> Developing, even they are encouraged to earn money. Uh, they are encouraged right. to earn money to become celebrity to earn money like that. I try, I try. So they right. are not taught, they are influenced by it. Mm. If any gunda or if, he, if any don is praised by the public, when you praise a don before children, they will think that the gundas are always good, but they should try to be gunda. Mm. So all these things are there. Yes, right. Well, Yes. Okay, so see you again. 
uh, about tomorrow i will message you okay yes so somewhere uh, yes i'm just